Hey guys, FL50 here from FL50 Gaming. I'd like to bring you guys and gal the MVCI, the Online Warrior Series, Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite, the Online Series. If you don't know what MVCI is, this is pretty much a series. It's not only going to be exclusive to Marvel vs. Capcom, it's going to be exclusive to a lot of fighting games I have a passion for and I play online ranch matches for. This is going to be me playing ranked matches, having a gameplay in the background. Either I'll be doing play by play commentary or I'll tell you a story about my history with some of these fighting games. And the one I want to do right now is the Soul Calibur series because a big announcement happened not too long ago in the VGA Soul Calibur 6 got announced and boy oh boy when that game got announced Worst of Emotions came like flying back I mean my childhood was like right in front of my face and everything so I mean like seriously like I have to talk about this and like it and guys like and subscribe if you want to hear more but without further ado let's get this started Soul Calibur was an interesting one for me because at the time I only really knew only fight against at the time I knew was really Street Fighter and Tekken and I'm not gonna lie to you said I played Soul Blade unfortunately I have no story about Soul Blade because I never heard of it so I mean people were saying that Soul Blade was the first in the series but I never heard of it and so I didn't own it on the original PlayStation so it wasn't until I heard rumors about Soul Calibur from, like, from friends and whatnot, but at the time I didn't really care. All I cared about was my Sonic Adventure and Tony Hawk's Pro Skater when I had my Dreamcast. So I never really got exposed to the series until we went to a, uh, until we went to a Chuck E. Cheese one day because it was like a friend of the family, like their daughter's um, birthday, and she was around my brother's age. So it wasn't until then I noticed that they had a Soul Calibur cabinet on there. Um, if y'all guys don't know arcade cabinets, it's like, they're kind of like old school, like for old people like me, <laughs> I'm just kidding, but it's like, it wasn't until, like, I saw the arcade cabinet of Soul Calibur, and I was like, huh, I guess this is the thing that they were talking about, and I looked at it, and it's like, wow, this game looks kind of crazy, but it kind of turned me off because I was in the Tekken, and I was saying like, eh, it's not Tekken, so... I didn't really care. I didn't care until like one guy put the quarters in the cabinet and then started playing and then I saw Yoshimitsu and he was playing with Yoshimitsu and at that point that got me interested because it was a recognizable character and Yoshimitsu is a mainstay in Tekken so it got me kind of hooked and Namco did good by doing that because having that recognizable character in that franchise in that game made me try to try the game. I did pretty well but I'm, I don't really play arcades, so I kind of got wrecked, and I guess, and I guess after that, I don't know if I lost interest, or I just didn't want to find it, or I didn't know it came out of Dreamcast, because back in the day, the internet wasn't really big as it is now, when it comes to, like, knowing, like, knowing game news or anything, so, if you didn't have a magazine, so pretty much you wouldn't know what it was, so, and then, it wasn't until years later, um, during football practice one day or I think one of our games got rained out or something like that or it got canceled and it was before the um, day of the game and I think we had a holiday that day too so despite it so when it got canceled instead we had practice and I guess we finished early and it'd be pretty a lot of time and, it, and like most of y'all people know that if you get a set time your parents will know when to come unfortunately I think we had like three hours to kill so one of my teammates had brought Soul Calibur 2 when the PlayStation 2 and then when I looked at it I'm like holy crap this is the same series I played at Chuck E. Cheese and I'm like huh but it's cranked up like it's cranked up to like 11 like it looked amazing like I mean even for PS2 standards and y'all know the PS2 did not look that well and what's it called but when i saw this game it blew me away with the visuals the aesthetics the music everything like i fell in love instantly and i think at the time tekken 4 was out and tekken 4 did look graphically it did it looked graphically sound at the time but i mean soul Calibur beat it tremendously and when i say that i finally got my hands on it i was blown away by the graphics and everything else i kind of got wrecked because i <laughs> I, it wasn't until then I realized, man, I cannot play this game. Like Soul Calibur, it's a whole different type of skill base and 
Man, when I say I got wrecked, I got wrecked. And it was crazy. And after that, I mean, I, when we went home, I was like, I went to my mom. I was like, Mom. And I was like, Mom, we got to get this. And it's like, I had to work hard, like, doing chores and all that stuff. That I finally did enough to my mom went to go buy me the game. And we had it on PS2. And this was before I figured out they had multiple guest characters. So. I had that Hachi and I was okay with that and I was like man I spent hours upon hours like playing like playing Soul Calibur like playing the arcade like not playing the arcade but playing the arcade mode going to practice trying to learn the game and I finally did I used Yoshimitsu and I, I really thought I could win this time so we had another instance like I think our season was over because we didn't make the playoffs so we got to play at the um, thing again and it's like, or I think we did. I think we had like a bye week or something. I don't remember, but we had another chance to play it. So I went over there and thinking that, okay, all this practice and stuff, I think I got this. So then I tried to play again. And boy, when I tell you I got wrecked, I got wrecked. Once again, it's like, he, like I guess he was holding back the first time we played. And I was trying to match up to his level. But then he did a guard impact. I was like, what is this? You're over there parrying my attacks. Man, I didn't know what it was. And I was like, man, I, I got to learn this stuff. So I spent another four hours at practice or so and learning guard impacts. And by then, I became so fluent or so good at them. It's like, it became like a guard impact to match for a lot of times. And it's like, man, this game, was, like, this game was like stupid fun. I mean, I couldn't put it down. And eventually I got good with it and I eventually discovered Key Lick. Of course, I had to drop Yoshimitsu because his moves are awkward. Being a Tekken player, it's kind of hard to jump back between the way he moves in Tekken and the way he moves in Soul Calibur. And then I also developed like a good, like a big love for talk. And it's like, man, I, I just love, like, I love the game. Like, the game is definitely presented itself so well. And I fell in love with the franchise. And then, uh, eventually, after a while, though, Tekken 5 had came out. So I kind of... Now I would say lost interest to in Soul Calibur, but I think I traded it in so I could get Tekken. And I guess that was it for it. And it wasn't until later I discovered that um like I think uh, one day it was like at a blockbuster. Like I was pissed off at my cousin because she wasted my time with or wasted our like seven days with a game because she like begged my mom to get it. It was, I guess it was The Sims and whatnot, and she stopped playing it after two days. And so, instead, after that, I decided, you know what, let me get some Kingdom Hearts games. And, I let me get Kingdom Hearts 2. Kingdom Hearts 2 is like a good, if y'all remember Blockbuster, he had seven days to play a game. And Kingdom Hearts was well enough for me to keep me busy for seven days. But then, while I was looking, I Kingdom Hearts was gone. And I was like, oh, what a bummer. So instead, I, I guess I wanted to reach for the next game, which would probably have been Spider-Man 2. But then, man, when I tell you I found Soul Calibur 3, and I was like, what? What? Wait, this game had a third series? And I'm not saying that 3 was kind of hidden from me, but if, like I said, if you grow up in the 90s, and like all the uh, 90s early 2000s like information wasn't as big as it was now so if you didn't have like a magazine or anything you wouldn't know these games exist and I decided to check it out and man when I tell you those seven days were like magic I played Soul Calibur my whole break and I was like I was having stupid fun I mean playing the multiple side stories you could do in the arcade mode or I think that was a story mode and it's like Siegfried coming back, being voiced by Chris Freeman. It's like, I could, I actually love this stuff. And it's like, you had the new character, Siegfried, Zasamel. It got me really hooked into it. And it also had character customization and had an extensive one-player one mode. And it's like, man, the Soul Calibur series, but Soul Calibur series really, like, just evolved for me. It's like, it's to the point, I almost, I almost dropped Tekken. But then, after a while, I think Tekken 5 had dropped that same year when I finally decided to play Soul Calibur 5. And it's like, not Soul Calibur 5, Soul Calibur 3. And I was like, man, I had to give up on a franchise because Tekken 5 was great. It was, it was great. 
And then I had a little rough time years later, Soul Calibur 4. Unfortunately, that was like the point of the series where it turned me off. Because it's more power to you if you like those characters. I'm not a big fan of the Star Wars characters. And when I tell you that, it's like, it's not bad. But at the same time, I don't like them. I never thought, I never thought, you know, or even thought that why did would they put them in there? It doesn't make sense. They're like so far in the future, and so kind of are supposed to be in the past. And I was like, oh my god. And I mean, I played it, and I had fun, but it was kind of boring because whatever what made the first, at least two and three, great for me, it wasn't present in four. Because it's overfluffed by fan service, like the story mode, where the arcade mode was kind of bland. I mean, it has cinematic finishers, but I mean, you, you think you had to do like a certain thing and all that stuff. And the character customization was like toned down to hell, because now it has stats, which was retarded. It's like, why would you, like the whole point of character customization is just to create a character, not for it to have stats. And I got rid of it. Like... The Star Wars characters and just the way it was made me get rid of it. I got it back eventually again. It's only because my friends done it, Terrence, their excitement for, I guess, like their little rivalry. It almost broke their friendship a couple of times. and It was funny. <laughs> they made like the stupidest customization characters. And it's like, it was entertaining to watch, but once again, it still not going to hold the fact that SoCal before was, at least in my opinion, the weakest one of the franchise. And man, not until then years later, Soul Calibur 5 finally dropped. Or when I heard about Soul Calibur 5, I was like, well, could the series really go back to its roots and be good again like 2 was and 2 and 3 was? And Lord and behold, it did. And man, when I tell you they did work for a year, like, for a, like they only had a year to develop it. They did some good work. It didn't have a lot of things, unfortunately. Like they took away like arcade mode and stuff and arcade endings. It's only because they had a year to develop it, but man, whatever they did in a year, I was surprised and all. But, in a turnoff for me about the franchises that, or at least two, not two, but five, was that they took away a, a lot of the legacy characters. And, man, when you, like, when I grew attached to Keelik, Talkie, and them, even a little bit of Sig, I mean, Sigfrey was in it, but when you take away Keelik and Talkie, I mean, Keelik was in the game, but. It's like he was like an edge master, and it's like, oh, whatever made him cool was kind of gone. And then, I mean, Shiva was a good replacement, but at the same time, it was kind of, eh. It's kind of weird not seeing him as the way he was with the staff. Same thing with Taki being gone. It's like I had to get used to Natsu. Luckily, she had a nice Zuna drop, which made her gameplay really fun and made up for the fact that she wasn't there. And it's like, huh. And luckily there was hope because they had a free to play game afterwards and it showed Taki and them and Taki was still supposedly active so there's hope for the future that hopefully Taki and Keelik will return and after that there hasn't been a Soul Calibur in years like I think the last one was in 2011 it wasn't until the VGAs I didn't watch it because I was at work but in when I tell you that Red Ranger Power, my boy Red Ranger Power shot me a text and he said like Soul Calibur 6 got announced, man, I had to rush home to watch it. Literally. And man, I was blown away. I was like, my childhood is returning. Like, I mean, the Soul Calibur series that I grew up with, the Soul Calibur series that, yes, we had our bad times and all that stuff, but I mean, it's like a rush of emotion came back and I felt like a kid again. It's like, man. It's like a kid getting his first Nintendo like that. It's like, man, I am really glad. It's like for years this franchise, and I really thought it was dead. Because like Soul Calibur, like, fives, like, it didn't sell poorly, but it was very bare bones at that. And I really thought it was because of that that they kind of gave up on the franchise and focused more on Tekken. But I'm really glad that they're coming back. And I mean, more and more I had, and more and more I watched, the more and more I get happy. And the more and more it's like, I want to know. It's like, it's the way it was me playing Soul Calibur 2 again like this feeling of like the franchise coming back and it's like man I, I, I want to know everything I want to I want to have a quick chance I want to have a chance to play it even if it's like three minutes I just want to play Soul Calibur 6 I really want to feel it and oh boy it looks good and they and they're and they're and they're gaining real like 
big like inspiration for Tekken and Tekken had that balls to the wall story and man I cannot wait and best believe when I get it there will be a playthrough in my channel but guys this is it I hope you really enjoy this this is really a passionate thing for me and I hope you guys really get something out of this and let me know if you want this I will keep bringing out more content more stuff and I really want you guys to really give me your opinion if you really like it or not but this is the um, online warrior for you this is Soul Calibur my history with Soul Calibur and I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day and I hope you guys like spread the love and remember we grow together we love video games F-150 out have a nice day guys